How's everyone doing today? Well, today's another project day here on the homestead. We have uh, some sauna tubes here that I need to cut down to three feet each. We are hoping to get 18 holes dug today and the sauna tubes in because we're hoping to have a cement truck come in this week and pour concrete into the sauna tubes for footings for the greenhouse that we're putting up. It's going to be 20 by 30 and uh, we could easily probably mix the cement by hand but we did that for our cow shelter that we started. 12 bags took us almost half a day. It's super heavy and I figured by the time we get all the cement for all the sauna tubes we're probably looking at 30 to 40 bags and for the cost of that it's probably going to be about the same cost to get a cement truck in with pre-made cement that's going to set properly and mix properly and hopefully be dried within three four days cured and we can get the greenhouse up and started anyways before the snow hits because luckily there's no snow yet we're so lucky anyways i'm gonna get these cut up and then we'll show you digging the holes and hopefully we'll get some most of that done today sauna so tubes are cut now so we'll take them over to where we're going to uh, put them in. We drilled one hole yesterday because we were gonna try using telephone posts there to put in to secure it down, but we decided we just use sauna tubes instead. So we got one hole dug and then auger's only 10 inches. So obviously we need to dig it a little wider. So the 12 inch one goes in. The four corner posts are a bit wider brackets. So they need to be 12 inches and the rest of them will be 10 inches. So we'll get this started and show you the process as we go along. All right, the first sauna tube is in. So we've measured from here to that post for 30 feet and that way for 20. We've measured diagonals to make sure everything's square. It's looking good. So I'm just gonna finish backfill on this one. While Kristen gets that one spray painted so we can get the auger in the right spot. And we'll start drilling the next hole. Okay. All right, we'll come back once we get this whole process finished and try them all in. Okay, we are on to day two of trying to get the sauna tubes in. So I think we need to move some of these sauna tubes actually closer because the directions we have here, we thought it was to the center of the sauna tubes that we we're gonna be putting the post in. But when we look at the directions here, I'll see if I can pull them out here for you to check out quickly. It's a little bit snowy all of a sudden. I don't know if I can do this here with the wind not blowing around. Ah, oh, not the best way to start your, there we go. So we were doing it from center of the plates because that's what we thought it was, but it's actually centered to the post. So we're gonna have to move some sauna tubes closer this way so that we can actually get the four bolts on, the three bolts onto the concrete once we pour it. But we're gonna do this one side here first. We marked it out last night with the red spray paint. And so hard this morning. There's so much frost in the ground compared to yesterday. Yeah, and frost <laughs> got pretty cold last night and now we gotta deal with some frost. And that sauna tube looks like it got crushed a bit. No, it was like that yesterday. Was it? Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to fire the tractor up and dig five holes today. Hopefully more than that. Because... It'll be pretty quick once, once we get those two moved to be able to get all of them done, hopefully. Hopefully, because we need to get some concrete poured. Because it just started snowing. Not a good sign. All right. We'll get the tractor going and we'll show you the process as we go along here. All right. So we got the sauna tubes in here. Kristen's working on the last one here. How's the digging going? Glad it's sandy. <laughs> yeah, we hit maybe one rock on the side, but other than that, it's been pretty good. And then we've got the laser level here that we'll use to make sure everything's lined up. And we're gonna get the corner piece, the corner bracket piece and put it on the far side here. 
so that we know exactly where we need the post to be to make sure that the anchor points are going to be centered up and then we should be golden for this side then we'll work on the next side there we have to remeasure everything like i said earlier on that the measurements were kind of off slightly because we didn't measure well, according we didn't to the sheets that the foot we measured from the center of the sauna tubes and the corner feet are not in the center, the center so right they're quite a bit farther out which makes our end ones our corners not in the right place but that's the way it goes that could explain why some of our measurements were off by just a touch maybe but not really 100 percent sure why but anyways we'll continue on here and show you the process once or the progress once we get the rest of them all done <laughs> Is the day that we finally get to put the greenhouse hoops together. You now, if all goes well by the end of the week, we'll have them up and done. So, I will start pulling them out and show you the process as I go along. It looks pretty straightforward. We've done our one two weeks ago already. So, we'll finish this, I think it's five and then two end pieces. So, we'll get that started now. pretty straightforward which is nice is they've labeled every piece so it's pretty easy to find the ones you need and put them together so let's get this going they give you all the bolts you need as well which is pretty awesome I say we'll grab a 11 16 ratchet and wrench and be right back so we'll tighten these up so I'm not I'm not sure what's harder to do work ah oh, Priya off work to do around the homestead with the kids having a dog around. She keeps getting in the way, don't you? Yes, you do. No, I don't want it to face. <laughs> so the other thing I need to do is put tape around the seams here as well. I bought some Gorilla tape, but it doesn't seem to be sticking very well. So I might let it warm up a bit more and when it's warmer, hopefully it adheres better. It's just so that when the tarp goes on, there's less wear and tear on the tarp and the less uh, chance of it being ripped along the sharp edges. All right, we'll be back once I get this finished. Okay, we got them finished, the middle pieces. Now we have to get the two end walls set up. So we have to look at the instructions here because they're a lot more complex and a lot more pieces here. What we'll do, I'll do a time lapse of it. Uh, let's try and figure out and put it together.
almost there. Look how much we got done this morning. We have one more end piece to put up and then we just need to uh, readjust some of these pieces here so that they fit on the sauna tube concrete blocks there and then we can bolt it down. So since this battery is almost dead as well, I will show you what it looks like once we have it all up. All right, we're gonna put the cross braces up on sides here and we've got some extra help today which is awesome because it's snowing we need to get this thing done so we're going to end up putting the two end walls up hopefully and we need to get these things bolted onto the sauna tubes which are now getting covered in snow so we're rushing against the weather now so once we get this stuff up i'll show you the progress obviously we've got the end walls up now or the end wall piece braces on so it's looking all right we still have to bolt everything down, but because we were off slightly and the frost moved the post a wee bit, we are going to put the other end wall on next over here. So that when that's on and everything lines up in place, then we can adjust the leg post here and bolt them all in and we'll be looking good. And snow's come down real good now, so I'm happy we got this going and we'll have it done hopefully by end of today. Oh, I think it's day like 40 now of building the greenhouse. We've been doing other projects between, but I've got it bolted down now, which is awesome. Not all the bolts run properly. The drill won't bolt them down as far as they can go, but that's okay. Most of them are secured well. We've got the end wall up here with the door. And next, we're going to grab the plastic today and try to get at least the end walls on. And if we're lucky, try to get the whole thing on. But it says you need a few people to do that. But we'll see what we can do with Kristen and her two kids. If they're able to help us and use a four-wheeler winch to pull it up as well. So I'll go get the plastic. And then we'll show you the process of doing all that. All right, Priya is helping me unwrap the greenhouse plastic apparently. Are you helping Priya? Good dog. You helping me out? Okay. Thanks for helping. So here's a greenhouse plastic. It's not your typical six mil stuff you get from the greenhouse store. With the kit, I think it's probably about six. It feels thicker than six mil. Probably seven or eight, I would think. But there's a section for each spot. We got a door, two end panels, and uh, sides and roof. So I'm going to take some of these apart. I need to get the instructions right now to see what part what stop bought. And then we'll show you us putting it up. All right, we got one side almost up here. It seems like a dumb system to be quite honest. With the grommets and ropes. It's taking a while to rope it up and through. I think it'd be much better to have your C channel and uh, have a better system than this. But I guess that's what you pay for is what you get anyways we're going to continue getting this side wrapped probably go have some lunch come back and do the other side and see how we go so we got the other piece up here the other end wall we tried getting the door plastic on but it's a bit too small it's not fitting over the hinges which is kind of ridiculous but being a kit from china that's what i would expect some things aren't going together as well as i was hoping it would too but we're just gonna work some of the snags out. We have the door inside. We thought if we take the door inside with the plastic, it would warm it up, make it more pliable to actually fit it over the door. Not the case. So I think I'm gonna have to cut the door, plastic, wrap it on, tuck tape it to get it on. Anyways, today, Christmas dad is here. So I think we're gonna try getting the main piece on. No wind, so that's in our favor. I'm gonna get some ropes over so that we can attach it to the grommets on the thing, on the other piece of plastic, so we can slowly pull it up and over and see how that goes. So I'll end up doing a time lapse for you guys to see how that goes, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so I've got some rope tied to four anchor points along this edge here, and then I've got them hooped up and over so that we can pull it over this way here. And I hope that's all we need to do. Hopefully it's straightforward. And then as two people pull, or maybe three people, 
and we'll unravel this section here so it slowly goes up and over and I'll probably be inside just guiding it over each limb and we set up to go. Okay, we got it pulled on. Went pretty smooth. So now what I need to do is rope the grommets to the end pieces to pull it all tight. Will I do this side? Chris is gonna do that side. And hopefully in the next half hour, we'll have it nice and snug. got this section looped through. Kristen's working on that side there. I'm just gonna pull this side down a bit from the outside just to get kind of the equal side of there because that's a little lower than that side. And then we'll see how it goes. We might have to wait till I get the end pieces uh, tight first, then we'll work on getting this tight on the sides here. So far looking good. I might have to in the summertime, I'll make it so that the end bottom pieces here can roll up to get some airflow, because this design here is kind of funny with the four small windows here. Not sure how much airflow there is, but it's better than nothing. But here we go, we'll get back inside. Just want to finish up here and show you what it looks like when it's almost done here. Okay, progress is coming quickly, faster than expected. We got the ends roped on almost. Oh, I can feel some time, we're just stepping it. Kristen just stepped in the time that's still growing. <laughs> we keep meaning to pick it, but haven't got around to it. So once we get this all set up, what we're gonna do, we're gonna get our chickens in here, the ones we're growing out, so they can start scratching in here, eating the weeds and the rest of the leftover veggie scraps. So that'll be ready for springtime, be worked up. And then uh, we can continue on with making beds in here. But in the meantime, Kristen's working away here, making it nice and snug. And I'll probably have to buy another length of rope for that side. But I really want to just get this side down first because I think I probably mentioned the land slopes this way. So we're gonna have to backfill it and get some dirt in but we want to get just secured down so the wind doesn't blow it everywhere, everywhere for right now. Okay, so once we get this done, we'll take a look at it outside and see how snug it is. I think this project is pretty much finished besides the door. It's been a long time coming doing this project, let me tell you. Thought it was gonna be a three day project, turns out to be what, like a, almost a month project, <laughs> but it's done. We just went through and tightened the ropes on the end pieces because they've been up for a few days. So with being in some of the sun, it's loosened the plastic up up. So what we're gonna do, we're let this plastic sit for a few days, hit this, let the sun hit it, tighten it up a wee bit, because okay, so it's still a little bit loose, but that might be a summer project, right? Or closer oh. to the spring when it's warmer. We may just get a nice sunny day when the sun's out and it'll probably be fine, because it warms up in here quite a bit. Yeah, it's already, already quite a, bit warmer than it's a few degrees warmer in here. And then uh, we did this wall here too, just tighten those up. Let's take a look from the outside, see how it looks. So this is the kit here we got. TMG Industrial 20 foot by 30 foot walk-in tunnel greenhouse. Just if you're curious. Well, it looks pretty good. Better than expected. What do you think? Better than you expected? I don't know what I expected. Yeah. We weren't sure. I mean, it's a Chinese made kit. We weren't sure if it was going to be great quality or not, but we got a really good deal for what they're worth normally, so it was worth trying out, right? Definitely. Let's do a quick walk around.
It's got the four windows, like I said, on each side for rolling up. And initially I thought there was actually a back door on here, which would have been pretty cool actually to have a back door so you can have it open and have more ventilation going front to back. I'm probably gonna pop a fan in there. So there we have it. Like I said, one more project on the homestead. Now we can pretend to sit back and relax while you do some other projects around here. Anyways, guys, I hope you found that helpful. If you have any questions, leave, the, leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer any questions if you have a kit like this on how to put it up. Because um, it took us a bit longer than expected. We put a few bolts in the wrong places, how to switch things up, how to buy a few extra bolts. But other than that, it's up. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and share it around and we'll see you out there.